Welcome to episode 9 of our 28 day trip here in Bali. We're in Seedman, Bali today and we're exploring our resort Wapa di Ume. Hope you enjoy this episode. Like, subscribe and leave us a comment below if you haven't already. We've just arrived at our next location in our new hotel at Wapi du Ume, which is Cedarman. And look at this view of the lobby. Look at that cool looking man. You can wow. see like the, I don't know what, she, I don't know what he's doing, but in the rice field. Yeah. I'm going to this for you, mommy. All right. We're here? Hi. Perfect. 715. 715. I'm going to show you quickly our room and show you what it offers. We got the suite room type here at this resort at Wapa di Ume. And as soon as you first enter the room, you've got this amazing mountain view with the river that's coming through. And we'll go in and Akita can lead the tour. Welcome, come <laughs> through. So, wow, look at this. The kids are very excited. Um, this is probably the biggest room that we've had so far. Yeah. So if you come through, you can see they do allow for a made-up bed, which is perfect for us. Yeah, just so much space for a mirror. There's just so <laughs> much space. So much room for activities. So much room. And then if you come through, she's very, very excited. sleep on our bed. I don't want to sleep. That's my bed. We have this massive bed, very soft, and then it just looks out to that view. Most amazing view. Unbelievable. And you can hear the river running. Can you hear that? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I'm like speechless. And I I think it's one of those things where it won't ever be it won't the video won't do it justice, the view. Definitely. Because when we were looking at this online it it looked really nice, but it was one of those things where it's like a waterfall or bushland. It always looks so much better in person, and it's just stunning. It is stunning. Hey, look at this. And then these grounds, you can go all the way down here and go along the river's edge. And then the mountains are huge right in front of our room. All right, shall we continue? Shut up the doors. Got to keep them closed because you don't want the mosquitoes to get in. So we'll just take you. Actually, I missed this bit. Look at this storage. This is just when you're long-term traveling. Right. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's a nice that's robe. That's so nice. It's like we'll put that on now, robe. Oh, look, they got sandals that I actually fit. Cotton. And then we've got thongs and slippers. <laughs> Open up in here. It's like his and hers cupboards, which is amazing because yeah. Christian takes up a whole cupboard. That's not true. Kita just lives out of her suitcase the whole trip. <laughs> I just saw this so and yeah, this is a showstopper of the room. So look this at this. Is the bathroom. You can just have a look through here, but you come through this way and look at here. It's a big Check shower. Check out how big the shower is. Like, this it is has huge. its own window. It has its own window, which has a shade, That's which is good. That's fine. Um, we just have our own vanity. Look, Kita's really tall. I'm like and look at this, like it's it's huge. But let's face this way. Check this out. This is what you want. Look at the size of that bath. That is a big bath. Like that's like a six hundred liter bath or something. We're gonna have to start filling it up now to have a bath later, I think. Yeah, but look at your but view. But look at the view. Look at that for a view straight from your bath. It's beautiful. And then look at the little oils next to you. Oh, awesome. Shampoo, body wash, Bath foam. These are all fresh flowers that they've come and placed in here as well before we've checked in, which is always a nice touch. Oh, I'm struggling to get out. They also gave us a fruit platter too. But look at but this. Overall, the high ceiling as well. Yeah, it's massive. Look. It's crazy. It's just a beautiful room. It's I feel like it's really Balinese. There's wood used throughout. If you look down, these tiles are used in. They have two resorts. And these tiles are used in all of their resorts as well as this kind of linen. So it's really... It's like their style. So overall, like 10 out of 10 so far. This room's beautiful. Yeah, love it. So let's get changed. Get in them robes. And you can relax view. a bit. Yeah. And have a big bath. we shall show you 
whatever's next here in Cedarman, but we really just want to relax and I don't want Akita to be sick mm. because an unhappy Akita is not good. We need the mum to be healthy. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is the next day and we are just about to head to breakfast. Keita's feeling much better today but we're still just going to take it easy, rest, see what the resort has to offer and just take this next day to spend it by the pool and enjoy this amazing view here in Tiedemann. You ready for breakfast? Yeah. Let's go! Basket, some butter and some yeah, we got that jam. jams that are made here. Yeah, we'll There's a sick lady. I, I went for an eggs benedict. Peter went with the what is it? Bubble. It's baba ayam. So it's like the rice, rice porridge. Rice. rice porridge with some broth. And yeah, I feel like it'd be easy to stomach. Yeah. Told me to eat rice porridge. <laughs> I tried the jam and this is jam. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. The egg. <laughs> no. So on the grounds here there's a beautiful natural river. We're just heading down now to have a look. There's nothing like I don't know, rivers and waterfalls in a different country, they're just so majestic. The view here is just absolutely stunning. They've got two pools as well, so this is the lower ground pool. I think this is where we've set up for today. Yeah, me too. Wow. I'm set up right there as well. What more could you want, right? It's amazing. River access. Wait, what does it say? It says river access. This is how you get to the river. Wow. What are the little baby coconuts? Wet. Yeah. That's for little babies. Little baby coconuts. Yeah, I bet they climb around and pick those too. For little babies to have. Babies can have those coconuts. Yeah. Oh wow, there's like little spots to set up down here. Oh, it's not like a bridge. Sort of like a bee. Oh wow, well, little cute little bridge. Oh, that's where the cooking class is. Oh, oh that's cool. That's so cool. Look, Christian was saying this is a perfect spot to put a grazing table. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Just walking through. It's so cool. They've used all rocks and I think all the stuff they would have found next to the river to set this up. Wow, and they've got all these little. What are these called? Shades. Yeah. Whoa, careful, please. There's a little toilet down here, too. There's a place across the river just there, babe. It's like a stage. <laughs> what do you say? They're carrying the massive rocks on their head. Wow, that's always very impressive. What? Just so, yeah. just so they can the, put it here for the resort. Just walking along because there's a place where we can cross this smaller river and go to the big river. Wow, so I was just watching these ladies here have got these hats that have sort of a big bucket in it. They uh, carry all these rocks from far away on the other side of the river so we can cross. Do you want to go across? They've blocked the river off. It still flows in the knee. Oh, let's cross it. Yeah, they make this so we can cross. That's right. See? They carry all these rocks across. Hello. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Still very friendly. Just having a look, Amira. So it looks like they carry the rocks all the way from over there on their head, all the way to here. 
serious hard work. I don't even think I could carry one of them on my head. You can see the volcano over in the distance. That would be a Mount Agung. That's Mount Agung. That's in... Oh. Actually carry all these rocks here and then sort them out into little rocks and big rocks. Wow, it makes you really realize how grateful you are. And you shouldn't complain about your job because their job's carrying rocks on their head all day. And they're probably getting paid close to nothing. But I guess that's the way of life here for a lot of people in countries like this. That's right, it's hard work, Mary. That's why you got to understand, right? You don't understand. <laughs> She's just been chilling in the pool. I don't know if it was the smartest thing for me to be laying in the sun though. Unfortunately, I'm still not feeling the best. So we might just go back up to the room. Me and Sage have a nap while Christian and Mary get to explore the grounds, but it's just stunning. I just can't believe how beautiful it is. I don't even think you can capture it on film. It is pouring with rain and we currently have the clouds coming through. Christian and Amira have just gone back into the swimming pool while it's raining. There's nothing quite like a swim when it's raining. I don't think Amira's ever done it before so the rain does make me feel a little bit better about literally not being able to get out of bed all day. I feel a tiny bit better now but Christian's actually organised for a doctor to come um, out to the hotel again just because we've been chatting to someone and the medication that she gave me was a little bit strange for my symptoms um, so I just think I'm just needing to be rehydrated as soon as possible I just need to be better ASAP and I know that it is quite taxing when you have two kids and you're traveling and one of the parents is out of the game I'm definitely loving the rain because I feel way less guilty about not being able to do anything so I've started to fill up the bath which is actually filling up a lot quicker than I thought it was going to so we can have that view absolutely stunning so unfortunately we haven't been able to do too much in Cedarman I would definitely still recommend to come and visit though it is beautiful I do feel like it is what Bali it probably is closer to what Ubud used to be um, before it was all kind of more touristy and tourist tracky because it's absolutely stunning I'm signing out for now. I might order a coconut and I might see you when I'm getting the IV drip. Oh no, I've been peacefully enjoying the rain and all of our shoes have been in it. And it's like impossible to travel when you've got wet items, they're never dry. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so. We ended up just spending the day here in Cedarman in the room relaxing. I actually spent most of my time trying to find a doctor for Akita. Um, me and Daddy had a dual date. We hopped in the pool and it was like pouring. And it was so chill. So <laughs> we just chilled the whole time. That's right. Yeah, me and Amira had a little daddy daughter That's date. Oh. But now we're having afternoon tea. So this is included in our stay. We've got some like a sago type pudding, a tuna I got, toast, I got two cookies. and a pumpkin and some Hello. fried thing. And we've but still got this be, view. They'll be here soon guys. They'll be here soon. It ended up raining for the afternoon here and it was actually really nice, wasn't it Amira? Yeah. We spent the time in the pool. We're gonna enjoy afternoon tea and then we'll have dinner. I'm really hoping Akita feels better. I went with this company called Saline Barley and they're gonna give her a drip. A this is unreal. It, it was wrapped in banana leaf. It's meant to be pumpkin and glutinous rice. It is so, so tasty. And I'm not too sure what this is. Some sort of fried spiced Balinese snack. 
Really nice. When you come here, you must try these two and comment down below which one's better. I reckon this one. You have to try it. Is it? Can I try it? I haven't even tried it. Disgusting. They're birds of paradise, aren't they? I think so. I, think I just said a... birds of elephant before. <laughs> but look at the size of these leaves. They're the biggest things I've ever seen. The trunk is like bigger than my arm. Like the, bit, the way the leaf comes That's out. crazy, yeah. It's, that turn, whole leaf's bigger than you. You turn, look to, look at this cute yoga place. Yeah, they only do it on Monday. That's the yoga place. They do yoga here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Look at the size of this. Wow, look at the view, babe. Wow. And then behind us is rice terraces. Then look at this view. I think you're right. It's really stunning. So I just wanted to give a special mention to this hotel, Wapa di Ume. The lady that we've been dealing with is Utari, who works in the reception, and she's aware that Akita's sick. So not only do they take us to the medical center down the road in the car, but they've also every single night given Akita this meal of rice porridge and boiled eggs, which is what the doctor recommended is best for her to eat, free of charge. Um, and she actually messaged me tonight asking if we can please send Akita some rice porridge and eggs. So just little things like that, that's so kind. Yeah, really good service. Amazing service. So if you are in Cedarman, highly recommend you stay at this resort. All right. The room service has arrived. And as always, mm -hmm. I've ordered too much food for me and the girls. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, Keita's getting her IV drip done. Extremely professional. Um, they arrived. Uh, I messaged them at about 2 p.m. this afternoon and they arrived here about 5.30. Amazing, extremely professional. Um, and I hope she feels better. She's getting vitamins, saline to rehydrate, lots of good stuff. I'm gonna eat now and enjoy this. This will be us signing out. We'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna do some silver making at one of the local silver shops here where we can make a bracelet or a ring. And we'll take you guys along with that. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It's the next morning, the sun is shining. It's a great day. Akita is feeling a much, much better. I'm out of bed. Which is great. I got to have a coffee this morning. She got to have a coffee. She's wait, wait, out of wait, bed. Wait, wait. It's a good start to the day. She's still not feeling 100%. But she's wait, feeling wait, much, much wait, better. For now, we're going to go get a wait, coconut. Oh, Sagey wants to show you guys the flower. I That's not a fragile of honey, though. Tell us about your experience. How was it getting IV dripped here in Bali? Well, it was probably the nicest place I've ever been IV dripped. Yeah. That's a plus. It, honestly, I would... I don't know, it sucks because I didn't get to experience fully. Christian originally had like a scooter and stuff booked because it's really quiet around here. It is considered a remote area. Um, so we were going to get a scooter and kind of just drive around and explore. We didn't get the opportunity to do that this time. But I think we'll definitely be back under better circumstances, but still this resort itself, if Cedarman itself is anything like this resort, it's absolutely naturally stunning. So you just, anywhere that you look is just an absolute vibe. So if you turn this way, just look at the walkway. And this is just leading to our, um, this is literally just the pathway that leads to our room. To our room. We are so give out. you a little tour of the resort, show I you what the yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't amenities or facilities. It's both. Both. We'll both. show you both here. I <laughs> You can walk, please. You're so heavy. Oh, that's better. Show you around. This resort is amazing. It's got two big pools. It's got an on-site spa, which I actually went and had a Balinese massage yesterday. And it was really, really good. And I'll show you the view that I had from that massage room. It's definitely one of the most beautiful uh, views I've ever had getting a massage. So along the whole resort, you've got these rooms. Every single room has a little entrance like this. These rooms here sort of just have a view overlooking just the jungle. But fortunately for us, we have a view overlooking the large mountain and the river as well. So we've got a river view suite. But um, you hear my slides squeaking. It literally sounds like I'm farting. I know. That's so, listen. Right. <laughs> Every... They rubber slides. And the rice terraces were yeah, this side. Yeah, 
I saw I saw a goanna. Every red. Are the white birds that we see everywhere? What are they? I don't know. I don't know what they are. Yeah, that's right, Amira. It's the little boutique that they're making, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, Seiji, how about you walk so Mummy doesn't have to carry you? That's my belly to carry me. Seiji likes to be carried absolutely everywhere. Hey, Mira. Yeah, I'm excited. Right. Let it go, Mira. Good morning. This is the lobby area too. Last time I was last time I was up here, I was getting sent to the medical center. Yeah. <laughs> This is hot, hey. It is really hot. Damn. That's cool. They got old combi as a hand rover. Wow, even on Australia, it's all over there. Oh, what is that? It's like a Back to the Future type car. I wonder what they're for. I think mean, you can hire them. What, and drive them around? What? Yeah. That's cool. What on earth is that? <laughs> that one's tires flat. Yeah. I mean, you might be able to. I don't know if you can see that hill, guys. There's steps going up. How far are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, probably you will. Tell us, should we walk up those steps all the way up there, or should we uh, get a car and drive up? Oh. Yeah. Can we get a buggy up there or something? We could ask them. We could ask them, because I think you're right. I think it will take it out of me. We're walking around, but I do want to be super mindful. It can take like a week to fully recover, so I don't want it. I don't want it to take it out of me because we do have to travel to a different hotel today, which entails a long car trip. Me sweat. The view from our lobby, as soon as you walk in, is just rice terraces, and it's beautiful. Um, I think they these ones are actually part of a resort where they build these rice terraces for the guests to look at and obviously supply rice, I don't know, locally or to the resort itself. But every part of this resort is just beautiful. And we're sort of tucked into a gully and the mountains that surround, so the restaurant's actually called the Sleeping Gaja Elephant because it actually is shaped like a sleeping elephant. Fish. Oh, what? They're gonna do some fish feeding. No matter where you go, the kids are obsessed with feeding any sort of animal. Where's the fish? Oh, they got more koi. You throw it in? <laughs> Koi's everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Anywhere that there's water, there's fish inside. Yeah. But yeah, it's just beautiful. Rice terraces mountain ranges and it's very very peaceful so if you want to come somewhere in bali that's peaceful away from the crowds then definitely come to um to seedman i wanted to show you guys the gym as well so there is an on-site gym here that overlooks one of the lower level pools so in the resort they have two infinity pools that overlook the main mountain and they are seriously one of the best pools we've swum in simply for the view and then here in Bali as well a lot of the pools are very very hot at the resorts you stay at and here these were the first cold pools so obviously Bali weather is extremely hot to be able to jump into a cold pool is so refreshing rather than getting into a really hot but on the main pool they do have massage by the pool which is awesome they have day beds that you can lay on sun lounges and they also have food that can be delivered straight to you at the pool as well, which is um, pool service. They have towels for you available at all times as well. And then there's heaps of sun lounges for a small resort like this, which is great. So everyone has a sun lounge to use. Just finished off some coconuts here Wait, at the restaurant. And Amira's hand delivered us this letter. We haven't looked at it yet. From Amira, love to mum and dad. Let's have a look. <gasps> wow! Is that mummy? Yeah. And that's me? Yeah. Well, you've really captured our eyes really well. If you can see here, Amira really hasn't accepted the fact that I've dyed my hair brown. <laughs> Every drawing she does, my <laughs> hair's blonde. Hang on, Sage, you were still looking at the drawing. This is my oh, mum. 
This is my dad. Look how good that is. That's, that's pretty that's accurate. Spot on. <laughs> what do you think? Sage is being a cranky girl. Oh, oh that's not nice. Oh, Amira, your paper, baby. Your paper. Oh. Oh, Sage is giving everything thumbs down. <laughs> if she if she gives anything a thumbs up this holiday, I'll be very shocked. Sage, what about the fish feeding? What do you give it? Thumbs up or thumbs down for the fish feeding? Thumbs down. Sage. Thumbs down. She's just doing that. Everything. What about the little kitty cat? The little kitty cat. Thumbs up, thumbs down. She's Sage, thinking. She's... <laughs> <laughs> what about. If any of you guys have seen the movie Gladiator, <laughs> I said to Duke this morning, the Emperor's like at the Colosseum. And if he likes to show or not, he's always like, uh, Sage would be like, <laughs> death. Hey guys, is this something? It says subscribe. She's on to that more than us. Yeah, I know. We never say that, but yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Sleeping Gaja. Wow. We got access to the private rooftop function area. And I thought the view couldn't get any better. But it definitely has. It's just like a sweeping view of everything. Everything, hey. Stunning. Wow. This place is amazing. So you can hire this place out. Finish. We finally got a thumbs up. Sage, grab a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, oh my. <laughs> you can hire this little section where they'll bring you dinner, have it candle lit, and then they will do it right here. It was around $250 a couple. This would have been a nice area for me to propose if I knew it was here, wouldn't it? Yours is perfect anyway. <sighs> I proposed to Akita on this trip for everyone that doesn't know. Uh, at our first location at Hilton. So we're engaged. Ten years in the making. Yeah. <laughs> Two kids later. If you want to watch that, this video, there is a video about that. That was Wapa de Ume, our resort here in Cedarman. Now off to our next adventure in Ubud, but before that we're going to make some jewellery. So make sure you tune in with us as next time we take you along with us as we check out Cedarman Silver and get to make some beautiful pieces of jewellery from start to finish. Now, if you have the opportunity to come to Cedarman, you definitely have to do it. There is something special about this place. It is just magic from the rolling views. It's super untouched. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get around too much in Cedarman, but we will definitely be back. We really hope that you enjoyed coming with us and we still have so many cool things to show you guys. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe to our channel, hit the bell notification to make sure that you're up to date with our next episode. For now, we'll see you then.